Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm go doing a uh, review of the new Makulu uh, Aero 10 that just came out yesterday. Now I installed it, had no problems with the install. Um, I have discovered a minor problem that I'll get into in a minute but um, so far it looks like a, a very nice uh, Ubuntu distribution and they have gone out of their way to make it resemble Windows and they're touting this as a um, perfect replacement for someone who is wanting to make a move from Windows to Linux and they're looking for something that they will be comfortable with. Now I'm going to go through the desktop a little bit uh, just to show you what you're getting uh, with this particular install. Now this install, this uh, distribution has been in development for a while. Uh, I think they had a beta out. I tried to download it a while back, maybe a few weeks ago, and had difficulty. So I figured I'd wait until the uh, release came out, and evidently this is the initial release now. I'm assuming it's out of beta. Um, I have been playing with it, and it seems to be pretty uh, stable. Haven't had any issues at all. I like the look. I think anybody coming from Windows would be comfortable with it. Uh, in the bottom right in the system tray, you have your date and time. Uh, let's see, this is the, uh, if you click on it, it brings up all of your windows that are open. Volume and sound settings. Uh, it configured my Ethernet connection without a problem. I do not have Wi-Fi on this particular computer. Uh, Bluetooth is disabled right now, but it is available. English uh, keyboard and language configuration. This is the update manager. Now, if you... I, I installed the updates, and it, it looks like it's the Mint... Uh, basically the mint update um, if you open up a terminal it tells you right at the top to use update manager to update the system do not use app get upgrade or dist upgrade so they don't really want you updating the system from the command line they want you to use the update and that is fine um, I think it's because they have some proprietary repos and things like that and they don't want you going through the uh, command line and possibly um, causing some problems with the system. Uh, and then you've got your wallpaper installer. Uh, they're using, I think it's Variety. You can change them. Um, you can configure that to change it as often as you like. It comes with a preset um, list of images and so <clears throat> uh, that wraps up the system tray. Now if we move over to the uh, applications, I'll, re I'll review those briefly with you. Now <clears throat> they've got all of the regular, all of the typical applications included. Uh, some that are not so typical, uh, for example, Nomax <clears throat> is included. Uh, WPS Office is included um, and so I, I like that uh, the software configuration all of the items that they've included are very nice they've got firewall they've got antivirus uh, the, the background the wallpaper changer so everything is uh, very very nice there's not a whole lot you'd have to go and download I downloaded Voco screen and SM player just to uh, do this video but other than that <clears throat> everything is pretty much included now they've got s something that they um, have put together to make backups easier and the Makulu constructor will basically make a backup a bootable backup of your 
distribution. So once you finish tweaking and you go through and you have everything looking the way you want, you have all your uh, your uh, district your packages installed, then you can make a uh, bootable copy of your distribution. So that's very nice. It makes backup a lot easier. Uh, so as far as that goes, everything is is top notch. Uh, the if we look at the settings manager uh, let's see system settings uh, all the normal uh, configuration options are included uh, you've got your driver manager, <clears throat> firewall, uh, power management. So everything is there. It's, it's very intuitive, very self-explanatory. For themes, everything is Windows-based. You've got all kinds of uh, window uh, options to, to ba basically replicate any version of Windows that you might be coming from. So if you're making the move from Windows to Linux, this might help you make the, the move, the transition a little bit easier. It makes your system more comfortable. So if you, um, you can go, go all the way back to Windows 3. Uh, and if you want Windows 10, that is available also. So it's just a matter of selecting the, the look for your window borders. Then your icons, again, they're all Windows based. You can go ahead and add other icons that you might be uh, that you might prefer. If you don't like this Windows theme, um, there is an icons folder and a themes folder in the home folder. So you can drop the uh, themes and icon packages in there, and they'll come up on your menu. And of course, your desktop again: Windows 10, Windows 8, Classic, XP, Vista, and Aero. So uh, everything is designed to make a transition from Windows a lot easier. Okay, so let's go over to the welcome screen. Um, when you click on the welcome, it brings up a lot of uh, information and they, they want you to go through all of these boxes. It says it's not a Windows clone, it just has a similar feel and look to it. It's as powerful as any other Linux environment. Uh, this build exists because users requested it. So people more than likely requested something that looked like Windows to make their move from Windows easier. Uh, so they talk about their wallpaper changer. Uh, if For updates, they want you to use the update manager down, and it looks like it's the Mint manager. Um, my system is up to date. I put in all the updates, but that's that's how they want you to update. They do not want you to do it through the um, terminal. Matter of fact, when you open a terminal, it tells you please don't use this for app get upgrade or disk upgrade. Use the update manager instead. So evidently they have some proprietary repos that need to be accessed through the normal update manager. So language and themes they talk about and popcorn time. Basically they're letting you know that if popcorn time is not legal in your country, remove it. You are responsible to remove it. Uh, Google Cloud is accessible. Pipelight for uh, Windows based plugins in your Linux browsers. Uh, so it's using Pipelight as a Silverlight alternative. Uh, for Office, as I mentioned, WPS Office, Clause Mail, Wine and Steam, also Play on Linux is installed, and uh, multiple file formats, PDF, Office, Document, Music, Movies, etc. Comes with Wi-Fi support, 50 gigabytes of storage is available uh, through Megasync. And then it has a built-in firewall and antivirus. It, it talks about donations. And I hope this edition brings you much joy. 
it uh, there is there are more hidden goodies in the build for a full list read the release notes at the Makulu website so uh, again go through those messages in more detail if you decide to uh, install it now the one issue that I came across is with the NVIDIA driver if I go to the driver manager <clears throat> you can see that I I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I installed it using the driver manager as you can see it says that I'm running the NVIDIA 352 driver one proprietary driver in use of course I rebooted after I did that but what tipped me off to the fact that it's not really the case is when I went to the um, NVIDIA application and those of you who have an NVIDIA cards you know what I mean uh, when I bring it up there is no NVIDIA card running if there was it would tell me what driver version I was running in the NVIDIA settings so it's not running if I run a um, command line program Nouveau driver is in use Intel onboard graphics no matter what message I run it recognizes the card but the driver is Nouveau so it knows I have an NVIDIA controller but it's not loading the driver and that basically uh, applies to any of the no such file or directory for NVIDIA driver version so it's basically telling me that there again nouveau so what it's saying is that even though driver manager tells me I've got an NVIDIA uh, driver or NVIDIA uh, driver 352 loaded it's not the case it has not gone through and done a proper install of the driver now <clears throat> I'm going to try to remedy that and uh, using the command line and so um, I'll, and I'm going to do that as part of this video so that we can get this resolved um, and as soon as I get that done I will be right back I'm going to pause the video while I get that done so guys I'll be right back with you welcome back guys <clears throat> uh, as you can see the uh, problem is still not resolved I used uh, every method that I know of in order to properly install the drivers and nothing has worked um, the driver manager still states that I have the NVIDIA 352 installed and yet when I <coughs> Uh, try to detect the driver uh, running its nouveau so that's a, a big problem um, they don't want you to app get upgrade or dist upgrade from the command line <clears throat> and so uh, I think that may be preventing some um, components from being installed properly because I use the same methods that I normally use on an Ubuntu distribution and it just won't install so um, <clears throat> at this point uh, I'd be interested to know if any of you guys have tried to install it with an NVIDIA graphics card and what kind of luck you had um, mine I, I'm getting conflicting information it's telling me it's installed but it really isn't 
So uh, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to uh, hold off final evaluation. The, the, the distribution itself is very nice, but uh, this is a uh, big problem. This is a bug of some type that should have been resolved prior to release. So guys, that's Makulu uh, Aero 10. Um, the distribution itself is fine. The software included is fine, but there is a problem with the installation of drivers that I can't seem to resolve. So I'll just leave it at that, guys. Um, you know, if you want to give it a try, if you have an NVIDIA card, um, please let me know how you made out uh, with the graphics driver. So guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, I will see you soon. Take care.